wait, what's going on? The Stephen C. Raphael, mm, is this on? Check one, check. Okay, well, I'd like to thank you, for, thank all my subscribers. There's a lot of new uh, subscribers, so I'm gonna have to re repeat some of this stuff over. And uh, I am a, I am your OMAD man. <laughs> Uh, from the planet of Omania. I've got all these little cups to sell. You could buy, it's ah, uh, whatever, you don't need to, but. Uh, um, what I'd like to basically do today is I'd like to tell you about one word. Consistency, consistency. Consistency is what she says to me. C-O-N-I-S-I-T. If you know me, you know I don't know how to spell. Okay, so it's all about consistency, but I'm gonna, if you watch this show, every single day, it's 16 minutes long, okay? It's gonna get you, it's gonna remake you, make the decision of losing your weight and eating one meal a day. Okay, so I'm gonna, every day I'm gonna tell you, I lost, uh, I lost, in fact, do I have a picture of myself? Yeah, look, here I was with that fake hair. Look at the big, yeah, I was a hungry, hungry man. And here's some of my ancestors, Pig Asian and Pig Latore. Yeah, look, they're in. <laughs> hey, there's some. Uh, there's a thing. Lose weight. Okay, I would like to. Um, last night, in the middle of the night, I got an email from someone named Rob, and uh, he just said, you know, I'm really overweight. Uh, everything to me is a scam. Did you go to the doctor first? What kind of blood meat do you have? I'm pretty lazy. You know all this kind of stuff. Well, I. T he goes, I don't really like YouTube. Well, okay, you told me all the things you don't like. Now let me tell you one thing. Everything's about consistency. Okay, so basically if you watch the video every day, and I, I'm gonna tell you, I lost 60 pounds in six months. You know, I love playing the piano on this show and there's no piano bars anymore. Um, and so uh, I like to, you know, play and it gives me a place to play and uh, talk about my 60 pound weight loss and tell you exactly what I did. And uh, hey, Rob, let me tell you one thing. Watch the show and I, I sent you like about a five paragraph email uh, because I said, you know, I love getting emails like this and I send in my food list. You know, I used to say, someone tip, tip me a dollar or so and I'll send you my, uh, my food list for the last 116 days in a row of exactly what I ate and how much I weighed. I went through a couple plateaus, you know. So I'll tell you what I ate and all that stuff. If you want it, email me. It's in the description of this thing. Okay, uh, I'd like to say hello to all you doctors out there. And mm, mm, check one. I'd like to say hello to all you doctors out there that are watching. I'm actually talking to you because you guys prescribe yourself medicine. And you know what the medicine is? It's overeating. Because if you're not feeling good, well, um, I better just uh, eat a lot of food because... Uh, uh, that'll make me feel better. And you're absolutely right, it will, but you're gonna have to pay the price. Um, so doctors, uh, you're not really doctors, but uh, stop prescribing yourself to overeating. Eat one meal a day. Choose a time, we're gonna go into the time, and uh, every day I give you 10 new benefits. And today we're up to 60 to 70. So I'd like to go over. <laughs> Number one, you're gonna have a better sex life if you lose all that gut. Look at this, I, I tuck my, my, my shirt into my pants. I think I'm the only one in America does because we're all fat. I'm not fat anymore. I was fat, just like George Costanza says when he got a wig. I was bald. And I, if you tip me, I can go out and buy a wig because I need a wig. Okay, now I'd like to say, first off, you're gonna have a better sex life. Secondly, you're gonna have more self-confidence. Okay, 63. Um, you're going to be in an elite club because you're going to start noticing other people, how bad they're eating and th things they order for lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever you want. Okay, food is fuel. Food is fuel. Food is... I even have a cup. You could order it. It says food is fuel on the back of it. It says uh, number one benefit, number two benefit, number three benefit. And it's all in color. It's really cool. Okay, and another thing is... Food problems are gonna be a thing of the past. I'm serious. I used to be guilty, I used to be overweight. Look at this, I had bad diabetes. See that little thing? It's probably gonna be staying there like a tattoo. I got two tattoos and I hate both of them. Okay, <coughs> Okay. another thing is you're gonna use the bathroom way less. I don't even remember the last time I went pupillation. Okay, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> that was funny. Okay, another thing, uh, you're gonna start noticing people who are really overweight and really, really unhealthy. You won't be jabbing at them because you know, like I said yesterday, you, they might have lost some weight. Okay, another thing is you're gonna sleep way, way better. You'll need less sleep, but you're gonna sleep way, way better. <clears throat> Check. Okay, um, another thing uh, is that your clothes are gonna fit way, way better. Okay, you're probably gonna have to buy all new clothes. I had to buy all medium clothes after about two months, then I had to throw those out, and I had to get all um, all small clothes. Okay, and, uh, and uh, two more things. One, you're gonna be able to clean yourself in the shower, especially your tushiation, you know? I don't know how these huge, huge people clean themselves. Okay, and the last one, it is more normal to be thin and at a normal weight. Do you, you know, you go to a middle school, do you think, see half the kids overweight? No, because their parents the, feel bad about themselves, so they eat all day, and then they let their kids eat all day. Plus, everybody's on their phone. On their iPhone, not on their iPhone. Okay, okay, let's see. Yesterday I saw, let, let me do a little bit of music. He's a big, big boy, he's a big, big boy, he's a big, 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 big boy. He's a big, big boy, he's a big, big boy. Let's face it, this guy is so big. He's a big, big boy, he's a big, big boy. He's a... Okay, the man is a large man, he's the guy over at Starbucks. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I just wanted to say that we're gonna go straight into our Zen saying. Oh madman, oh madman, tell me your Chinese wisdom about how to lose weight. Okay, grasshopper, remember this. Wisdom. She is a tough teacher. She gives the test first and the lesson later. You know what that means? That basically means you will be tested first. Then you will get the lesson. I spent 30 years trying to lose weight. I tried Weight Watchers and it didn't last. I tried Overeaters Anonymous and they took my cash. I tried Jenny Craig. I watched Valerie Bertinelli. I watched Marie Osmond. But I thought it was all a scam because they're getting paid to do this, you know? And then, you know, they go up and down, they go up and down, and they want you to buy their food. Uh, lose half a pound is healthy. Yeah, all right, half a pound a week? Okay, maybe after you've lost your water weight and you've lost like 10 or 15 pounds in the first three weeks or whatever it is. Okay, I'd like to say that, uh, <coughs> so um, I gotta, I'd like to talk, I'm gonna go into exactly how many, all that, you know, you need to pick a certain time. I'm gonna go into OMAD basics, but I'd like to say, this thing called food, I just, I now can handle it. It's my little queen moment. Mama, you've given me such bad habits, but I'm 54 now, and I can't keep blaming my parents. Goodbye, everybody. I, I was a fat man, now I am a thin man. Okay, let's see, a little bit of fun there. Okay, let's see. Um, everybody, please send me three gratefuls because your mind, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna start getting these grateful once your mind is, is, uh, is in that. Okay, I'd like to talk about my eating window, I mean, I'm basically in maintenance now. I lost 60 pounds in six months. I went from 200 pounds to 140, okay? And I, I go between 139 and 143, and I really don't care. I'm thin enough, okay? I'm more concerned about my hair. I can't stand my hair. I've been like this for years. Okay, uh, please send me three things you're grateful for, okay? Um, okay. Mine is at five o'clock. Do you think I eat at quarter to five? What if everybody's sitting down on the table? Well, then I'll sit there and wait till everybody's uh, in the middle of eating and I'll wait till five o'clock because my body, <clears throat> my stomach has a brain and it remembers every single time I eat. If you have some red licorice at uh, two in the afternoon because your friend brought it over for your birthday and wrapped it up, you start eating some of that, the next day your body's gonna go, 
Where's my red licorice? Okay, um, so like the dog that you put like a bone on his nose and he sits there and say, you better not eat that. You better not. You've got to be that obsessive about it. I did. I didn't cheat at all. Okay. No, you know, there's these other old mad people, you know, the only difference between me is I like to play music and fool around and sing about, you know, I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. Chomping and chomping. And I think I'm going to have a live uh, Tuesday. Tomorrow I'm going to have a live um, YouTube from eight, uh, seven to eight, uh, Nebraska time. That's the middle of the United States. I don't know, central or mountain or I don't know what it is, but, uh, let's see. And so, um, so many grateful lists. And, uh, so you want to wait to your time. We've got 11 minutes into this. Something in the way she makes me food. She used to bring me a block of cheese. My Beatles moment there. I know that Kevin always appreciates it, and so that's why I thought I'd throw that in. I just want to be appreciated. People say, well, Why do you do your show every single day? And I say, Because I have to be accountable too, you know? Although I've turned myself into a superhero OMAD man, you know, what if I stopped doing this every day and sat, and sat back and started watching uh, Seinfeld every day and eating? I am doing this to help you. Let me tell you what. Um, Albert Einstein, he's this really smart guy. He was a Jewish guy too. And he said that your, that your wealth depends on how much good service you give to others. So I personally think I'm going to be a billionaire one day because I'm really honestly, intrinsically, and truly and uh, trying to tell people what I did, you know. And so uh, send, send me an email. I'll send you my food list if you think that'll help you but let me give you some advice on what to eat eat food and eat one time a day okay now let's see here's the basics of OMAD you get one plate even if you're at a buffet and first off I'd like to address this online so I don't have to keep tipping uh, what is it, Valerie, uh, no, it is it? Sherry, she's going, you're probably the only person that could go to a buffet and eat because I'm there to fuel my body and eat. I'm not there for recreation. If I want to go to recreation, I'll go to a, a pinball machine place or a nightclub, but going to a food buffet is there to feed me. You know, I don't even, you know, I don't care if I go to, to a McDonald's. If I went to McDonald's, which I haven't been to, I would get a cheeseburger a fries, maybe a Diet Coke. That would be it, because in the 1970s, my dad, who was huge, that's what he ate. But society, but society tells you have to eat a double burger whammy lammy, and uh, you gotta eat these huge fries. Would you like for me to supersize that? Okay, no, I just like a Coke. Would you like for me to supersize that? Um, I would just like a small hamburger. Would you like for me to supersize it? Supersize that, supersize. You know what? Let me tell you one thing. No, I don't want you to supersize it. And you know, Whatever. Okay, let's see. Uh, you know what? After my, I, I ate a block of cheese about every three or four days. I say at night, but and, I mean the whole thing. And usually a white and then an orange, you know. And uh, after my heart attack and I got four stents stuck in my arteries, which I don't even know how the guy pulled that off. You think this piano playing? <laughs> This is impressive. Sit here and play a Mulsanne song I can think of. It's not impressive. This guy stuck a tube in my arm, got a balloon, blew up my arteries that were all completely screwed up, and uh, stuck. then he stuck a tube in there. And he's sitting there casually talking about golf. I went back to him about six months a little later, and I said, can I just drink uh, regular coffee instead of decaf? And he goes, I don't care. And then I show up out a year later, and I lost 60 pounds. He doesn't even mention it. I knew he wouldn't mention it because he's into his car and his 
$500,000, I don't know. I mean, th the guy saved my life, but I mean, he could be a little interested in me. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers and people that give me to If you want me to write a song about you, if you want me to play a certain song, and just remember, if you're going to a party, it might be a St. Patrick's Day party. If you're going to a party, it might be a St. Patrick's Day party. You don't have to drink, you don't have to waste all those liquid calories. Just focus on conversation. If you're going to a party, if you're going to a party, if you're going to a party. Right. Thank you for my neighbors not freaking out because I'm doing this show here. Uh, and just remember, pick a time. Pick an exact time. Don't even go five minutes before and don't graze or snack all day long. And so I just want to say thank you. Because... I am the Omed man, and uh, I see here every day. I gotta think of new material, so send me some stuff you wanna hear or see, or uh, I hope you liked that video last week. You know what? I like you all!